It appears there's no end in sight to the Lance Armstrong doping saga. The disgraced cyclist has snubbed an invitation from the US Anti-Doping Agency to provide sworn testimony detailing his involvement in doping during his time as a pro rider. USADA had given him a two-week extension on a February 6th deadline to submit himself for an interview. Cooperation could have seen the 41-year-old's life ban overturned, but Armstrong made it clear in a statement that wouldn't be happening. It read, Lance is willing to cooperate fully and has been very clear. He will be the first man through the door and once inside will answer every question at an international tribunal formed to comprehensively address pro cycling, an almost exclusively European sport. In the meantime, for several reasons, Lance will not participate in USADA's efforts to selectively conduct American prosecutions that only demonise selected individuals, while failing to address the 95% of the sport over which USADA has no jurisdiction. Armstrong admitted taking performance enhancing drugs during his seven Tour de France wins during a television interview with Oprah Winfrey. But so far he has failed to cooperate with anti-doping agencies as they try to clean up the sport. USADA Chief Executive Travis Tigart said in a statement, Over the last few weeks he has led us to believe that he wanted to come in and assist USADA, but was worried of potential criminal and civil liability if he did so. Today we learned from the media that Mr Armstrong is choosing not to come in and be truthful, and that he will not take the opportunity to work towards righting his wrongs in sport. Armstrong was charged by USADA in June last year with using performance enhancing drugs. He was stripped of his seven Tour de France titles by the International Cycling Union and banned from competition for life.